Welcome back, Tigers. In this video, we are diving into a detailed comparison of two powerful automation tools, N8N and Zapier. Whether you're looking for the most cost-effective option or the easiest to use, I'm going to break down what you need to know, from pricing to support, from limitations to additional features. By the end, you'll know which product is right for your workflows. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, first up is pricing. Both N8N and Zapier have very different approaches to pricing. Zapier charges based on what they call tasks. Now a task is any action your workflow completes, like creating a new Salesforce contact and then adding them to a campaign. Each action counts as one task. So if your Zap has multiple steps that do multiple actions, those tasks can add up really quickly. Zapier offers a free plan with 100 tasks per month, but limits your zaps to only two steps. This plan also excludes apps that Zapier calls premium apps, and of course, Salesforce is considered a premium app. The professional plan costs $19.99 per month if you pay annually, or $29.99 per month if you go monthly. And this gives you 750 tasks per month and access to premium apps. N8N, on the other hand, is based on workflow executions and the number of active workflows you have running. Unlike Zapier, N8N allows an unlimited number of steps in one workflow, which means you can do more without worrying about extra charges for each step. But you need to make sure you're only triggering the workflow if actions are going to occur since they will charge you even if no actions are completed. You can run N8N for free on-premise if you're tech savvy enough to set up the infrastructure that's needed to support it. If not, you can run it in the browser. The starter plan is only $20 per month and includes five active workflows and 2,500 executions with unlimited steps per workflow. There is no concept of a premium app and all apps are available to all plans. When we compare pricing, we think N8N comes out on top. Now let's do a comparison. Let's say you have five Zaps and Zapier running 2000 actions per month. That would cost you $49 per month, more than double the cost of N8N's starter plan. N8N's pro plan offers 50 workflows and 50,000 executions for $120 per month, while Zapier's equivalent plan with 50,000 tasks would cost a whopping $289 per month. In the cost category, N8N definitely wins. Now let's talk about ease of use. How easy is it to set up a Zap versus an N8N workflow? Well, Zapier focuses on simplicity for non-developers. It's very easy for a new user to create a Zap and get started, but this simplicity also comes with its limitations. For example, testing Zaps can be frustrating because Zapier's test function doesn't fully emulate real world conditions and debugging can be very tricky. On the other hand, N8N is more technical and may feel overwhelming for someone new to automation. You need some level of technical knowledge to get the most out of the tool, but once you're familiar with the platform, N8N's user interface allows for more efficient debugging and testing of your processes. Everything is viewable on one screen, making it easier to identify issues compared to Zapier. While Zapier is easier for beginners and has a shorter learning curve, N8N is better in the long run, in our opinion. Now let's move on to support and documentation. Zapier offers extensive documentation on how to build basic Zaps and includes email support for those on the professional plan. But if you've ever tried to automate something complex like integrating with Salesforce, you'll know that the basic documentation doesn't always cut it. N8N, on the other hand, offers less comprehensive documentation and has a smaller community. This means finding answers to niche questions could be more difficult. And they only offer forum-based support, but beyond that, options are really limited. When it comes to support and the community, Zapier takes the win with more robust documentation and more levels of customer support. Now let's take a look at some unique features from both platforms. N8N has a few standout features, like the ability to have multiple triggers in a single workflow, custom API calls to Salesforce, the ability to invoke an auto launch flow right from a workflow, and webhooks that support both test and production environments in one workflow. 
Zapier's solution to multiple workflow triggers in a single zap is subzaps, which I personally found very frustrating to use. Zapier does offer custom actions built by AI, but unfortunately these aren't available for Salesforce yet. Now Zapier does boast a whopping 7,000 apps available on their platform while N8N only supports 500 apps. This is a big difference and may be the main determinant factor when choosing which platform to use. N8N has more features and flexibility when building workflows, but Zapier supports 14 times more applications. Let's look at limitations. Both platforms have them. With Zapier, one of the major drawbacks is that you have to publish your zaps and use paid tasks to truly test a process. This can burn through your tasks quickly, making testing costly. You also can't connect Zapier to FTP servers for free. For example, Easy FTP and Brick FTP are supported, but why pay for those platforms when we have free options like FileZilla? Also, there are certain limitations when using Salesforce triggers with Zapier. For example, you'll get a message saying this trigger works on Salesforce objects with fewer than 104,000 records. If your record count exceeds this, you'll need a workaround like an outbound message, which actually isn't so bad. Another limitation we encountered is if you want to set a field to null in Zapier, you'll need a slight workaround, whereas this feature is out of the box in N8N. For N8N, the key limitation I ran into is that it doesn't support all of Salesforce's standard objects. Only a select few objects are supported in Salesforce triggers, account, contact, lead, opportunity, case, and task. Custom objects are supported, but if your project requires access to any of Salesforce's other objects, this could be a deal breaker. So which platform should you choose? If you're just starting out with automation and want something easy to use, Zapier is a great choice, especially for smaller tasks. However, it does get costly quickly as your tasks and requirements grow. On the other hand, if you need more flexibility, scalability, and control, and don't mind a little bit of a steeper learning curve, N8N offers more value for your money, especially for more complex workflows. Now let us know in the comments below what your experience has been with Zapier or N8N and which one you prefer. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on automations using Zapier and N8N. I'll see you next time. Bye.